This informative documentary is aimed at helping the aspiring young Pakistanis to understand the selection system of Inter Services Selection Board (ISSB). Excellence is never an accident. It is always the result of high intention, sincere effort, and intelligent execution. It represents the wise choice of many alternatives. Choice, not chance, determines your destiny. Serving the motherland is unconditional duty of the armed forces. The leaders of Pakistan's armed forces have repeatedly proven their mettle and prowess by resolutely defending the country's geographical and ideological frontiers. The sacrifices made by the men of valor in uniform shall always be written in golden words in the annals of Pakistan's history. The legacy of elan and chivalry is at the heart of Pakistan's military leadership. that we intend to preserve at all costs and it is indeed this very core that we are looking for in young men and women like you in order to answer your curiosities about selection at the ISSB this short documentary will explain the entire process which will not only help you to prepare well on your own but would also clarify certain misperceptions Being an aspirant, it will be interesting for you to know about the origin of ISSB. So let's start from here. At the time of independence, Pakistan had three main services selection boards, along with few selection units at Rawalpindi, Kohat, and Jhelum. Later, in 1952, all boards were merged into ISSB and shifted to Kohat. In 1982 and 1987, two more ISSB centers were established at Gujramala and Malir, respectively. ISSB Center Quetta was established in 1999 on makeshift basis, but has now been transformed into a permanent facility since 2021. An inclusive and scientifically proven module. open to all eligible pakistani citizens is the foundation of the issb selection system from thousands of keen aspirants only those with requisite traits and aptitude are recommended to join the military academies to eventually become commissioned officers in the armed forces issb follows a three dimensional selection system wherein psychologist analyzes human persona through evidence based tests gto assesses the individuals conduct in a group setting based on multiple indoor and outdoor exercises while the deputy president evaluates intellect and overall personality through semi structured interview in this way four days procedure at issb implies a series of events On the last day, results are finalized by selectors in a board conference. We assure you that your experience of ISSB is going to be once in a lifetime. Now is the time to do those things that lift you and give you wings. Sate your craving of exploring the land and quench your thirst for fearing the oceans. Now let's have a round trip of your 4 days stay at ISSB. The arrival day. On arrival, you will be welcomed by staff at the ISSB's reception. After initial procedures, you will be allotted chest numbers and dormitories. Having consumed your meals in the mess, You will be taken to the auditorium for verification of documents and filling of forms. Biodata sheet that you would be required to fill up is lengthy and takes 
45 minutes to complete. You will be provided with detailed instructions in the hall and how to fill this form. Biodata form requires your personal, medical, financial, family and academic information with hobbies and co-curricular activities in detail. You would also be required to provide information about your parents and siblings. Remember, your Biodata sheet is your reflection, so be honest and pay attention to the instructions. It's important to produce every bit of data with utmost accuracy. Last task of this day is to write an English essay of 400 words in maximum 30 minutes. Your prior knowledge on current affairs, history and broad-based study on various topics of interest will facilitate you to produce the best content. We expect you to be conceptually clear, grammatically correct, brief and to the point. It is said, the subconscious writes poetry when left alone. This is how your first election day at ISSB will be. You must know that psychological tests are extensive and take many hours to complete. You need focus and mental alertness to attempt these tests in the best way. We know the day will be exhausting for you, but recalling the cause for which you are sitting there will stir up your energies. Remember, the conscious mind is the editor and subconscious mind is the writer. Selection system for the induction of Office Psychiatry came into being with the evolution of science of psychology. Germans were the pioneers to incorporate these methodologies which were later followed by other countries. Site dimension at ISSB has evolved over the period of time in line with existing psychosocial and contemporary developments. Today, we have a unique selection system which is based on a combination of both projective and objective assessment techniques. The role of psychologists at ISSB is exactly the same. They read your unique personality through psychological tests related to your mental health and social adaptability. Your evaluation is based on scientifically proven and extremely reliable analytical tools. A series of psychological tests including Biodata Sheet enables a psychologist to draw holistic picture of your personality. Now, let's have a sequential look on these tests. Mechanical Aptitude Test is the first test in the series of psychological tests regime. You will only take Mechanical Aptitude Test in case if it's your first appearance at ISSB. This test is administered to measure your mechanical comprehension and application. It is a computer-based test. You will come across pictures on computer screen where you have to select the correct answers. Second in the psychological tests is the Officer's Personality Inventory or OPI test. This test taps your emotional and social domains. Let's see how to attempt this one. OPI OPI includes a series of individual tests. It is a very simple test with MCQ based short statements to choose from. It only asks you about your preferences in your day-to-day -day routine, ranging from strongly agree to strongly disagree. Therefore, do not speculate for any right or wrong answer. You are bound to answer all questions within the stipulated time. Your test will not be scored if you leave any question. Sentence Completion Test it consists of four test sheets. First two sheets are in Urdu and remaining two in English. Every sheet comprises 26 sentences with time limit of six minutes. The best way to complete this test is to apply your own thoughts in expressions. 
while avoiding prepared responses as it can lead to contradictions in portrayal of your personality. If someone guides you to write everything positive only, you must know that this information is nothing more than a misperception. On the contrary, what ISSB is looking for are your own original ideas. Keep your mind open and write only your own viewpoint. Avoid writing proverbial expressions as much as possible. Your next challenge will be the word association test. It is again a simple test that helps us to understand you better. So be spontaneous and genuine. Most of you would already be aware of what this test is about. But let me elaborate it further. This test will be conducted through on-screen display of words. A series of 100 English words will be displayed one after the other. You would be required to make a sentence of the given word. Each word will be flashed for 10 seconds only. So quick thinking is the essence here. In case you seem to be stuck with a word, leave that serial blank on your answer sheet and move on to the next word. The third test is story writing. Story writing test. This is a thought provoking test. Your creativity would be the key to formulate an imaginary story. A total of six stories are required to be written. Out of these, four are based on pictures and the remaining two on opening sentences. Each picture will appear on the screen for 30 seconds. This is sufficient time for you to comprehend the details and develop a meaningful story. We suggest you to think along the lines like what events led up to the present occurrence, what the characters in the pictures are thinking and feeling, and finally, what will be the final outcome of the story. For stories with opening sentences, first you need to write down the sentence or sentences shown on the screen in the first 30 seconds and then you can develop your story in the next three and a half minutes. Next comes self-description test. Have you ever thought of describing your personality from the lens of others? If not, this test is an amazing practice to view yourself from the eyes of friends and opponents. Here, try to portray your real self by writing your strengths and shortcomings while avoiding coach responses. Reflection of your personality through honest opinions is the aim. Truthful and candid self-description would enhance the chances of your recommendation. Maximum time allowed for this test is 8 minutes. Situation Reaction Test Situation Reaction Test is aimed at rating your abilities in responding to everyday challenges. This test assesses your mental alertness and practical approach in problem solving. A total of 10 situations will be displayed one by one on the screen for two minutes each. You will be required to read each situation and propose a suitable solution on your answer sheet. The test will be conducted in 20 minutes. Some of you may have misperceptions regarding your interview with the psychologist. The psychologist may pick few candidates for interview based on scientific process of judgment. It is a routine function and need not to be taken as something negative. Group testing officer observes the candidate through situational task. Objective of GTO Dimension is to assess candidates' practical ability under stressful group environment. GTO Dimension has evolved over a period from leaderless tasks to culmination of individual and leader-based group tasks. The main focus of the GTO Dimension is laid on innate leadership qualities along with mental alertness and physical ability. Now we shall take you through the entire selection procedure of GTO Dimension. GTO tasks are extensive and require two days for completion. Through a series of tasks, your abilities such as effective communication, problem solving and physical fitness will be evaluated. Assessment of these tasks is divided into two domains. 
communication skills and ability to planning and execution. The intellectual discourse consists of public speaking and narrative-based group planning exercise, while the application of skills include progressive group task, half-group task, subgroup race task, command task, and individual obstacles. And finally, there will be an intra-group rating in the form of mutual assessment. First GTO Day The first day with GTO will be a combination of indoor and outdoor tasks. Initially, the group would be assembled by respective GTO in Johar Hall. The group would then be required to move towards the model room following the GTO and will be allotted with new chest numbers that will be the standard identity for the subsequent tasks. We believe that all of you have unique ideas and personal opinions about the topics. Therefore, you don't need to hold back your ideas. Rather, we encourage you to speak your heart out and share your thoughts candidly. Public Speaking The first event of the series is a short extempore talk on a topic concerning social norms, moral values or civic obligations. You will pick a topic to speak from two choices. You may take three to five minutes each to prepare and deliver a short speech in English language. The purpose of this task is to assess your communication skills, knowledge and ability to speak logically. Narrative-based exercise Last event of the intellectual discourse is narrative-based group planning exercise. Groups are shown a 3D model on an interactive smart screen with a situation following a problem to be solved. You will be provided with written narratives. Within 15 minutes, each member will formulate his or her plan. Individual plans will be presented to GTO by each candidate. Group members will then carry out mutual discussion to develop a group plan with consensus. Your group will then nominate one candidate to present a group plan to the GTO. The GTO may nominate any member of the group to present the group plan. Keep in mind that in both the cases you will be required to mark your plan on the interactive smart screen for presentation. The purpose of this task is to assess your ability to comprehend situations according to the nature of the problem and come up with workable solutions within the given time frame. After this brainstorming session, the group will be allowed to quickly change into PTK for outdoor tasks. Outdoor tasks. Your group will be taken to the task area for practical application where GTO will brief you on the overall conduct methodology and about your specific task. The outdoor tasks are designed at judging your ability to assimilate complex practical problems, develop workable plans and implement these within a team environment. Surround yourself with the people who have dreams, desires and ambitions they will help you to push for and realize your own your first outdoor task will be progressive group task pgt comprises of three stages after completion of each stage the group will move towards the next the time for completion of this task is 40 minutes the planning and execution of this task is the joint responsibility of everyone in the group. In essence, this is a leaderless task where all the group members are expected to work mutually as a team. During the 40 minutes, you will be required to carry some objects from start to the finish point. Remember, you should negotiate the obstacles in a sequential manner, move as a team and keep in mind to avoid designated out-of-bound areas. The purpose of this task is to assess the practical implementation of your intelligence, confidence and ability to inspire others. Having completed PGT, you will then proceed to half-group task. 
For this second task, your group will be divided into subgroups of three to four individuals. Each subgroup is exposed to a simple task similar to PGT, but it consists of only one stage and has to be completed within eight minutes. Each member in the group will have the opportunity to display his problem-solving skills and leadership traits. The purpose of this task is similar to the PGT, but with a smaller group, hence it would be more challenging. Completion of half-group task marks the end of first GTO day. Thereafter, you will be free to retire to your rooms. Second GTO day. Second GTO day starts with short video briefing on individual obstacles and subgroup race task. Individual obstacles. On multimedia in the Johar Hall, you will be briefed about the essential details and ways to negotiate each individual obstacle. This would be followed by a familiarization visit of individual obstacles. There are a total of nine obstacles, which you would be required to negotiate within two minutes. These tasks are designed keeping in view the physical abilities expected from an average built candidate. Every obstacle bears a different degree of difficulty demanding matching physical fitness and willpower. The task does not require any special preparations other than adequate physical stamina and muscular strength, which you must build through regular exercise. It's your road and yours alone. Others may walk it with you, but no one can walk it for you. Command Task after completion of individual obstacles, the group will proceed towards command task, wherein each of you will be given an opportunity to become commander in an assigned task. Each commander will have 8 minutes to complete this task. The purpose is to judge your innate leadership, dynamism and ability to inspire. Subgroup Race Task after completion of command task, the group will undergo the subgroup race task. Your group will be divided into two subgroups, each competing with each other. Your challenge will be to negotiate series of obstacles within the given restrictions and situations. Willpower, team spirit, cohesion and cooperation within the group will help you to accomplish the task in a befitting manner. Mutual Assessment At the culmination of GTO tasks, each group member will assess himself as well as other group members' performances of previous two days through mutual assessment. If you can make one heap of all your winnings and risk it to one turn of pitch and toss and lose and start again at your beginnings and never be the word about your loss, if you can force your heart and nerve and sinews to serve your turn long after they are gone and so hold on where there is nothing in you except the will which says to them, hold on. Deputy President is the senior most selector at ISSB who unfolds the personality imprint of a candidate through interview. Interview technique at ISSB has evolved over a period as a comprehensive interactive discourse. It enables the selector to screen requisite personality of a potential military leader. The interviewer bases his assessment on personal information of the candidate provided in the form of biodata sheet, literary activities conducted in the form of analytical essay and group discussion. However, candidate's final personality mosaic is made during the interview. With the Deputy President, your performance will be assessed in two separate activities. Group Discussion Starting with Group Discussion, the group will be given two topics of general interest, one each in Urdu and English, to initiate a formal conversation amongst the group members. A variety of topics ranging from domestic, regional and global affairs can be given. Group can take 15 to 20 minutes for each topic. 
you will be evaluated for your thinking pattern, communication skills, logical reasoning, confidence and ethical behavior. Interview Interview is considered as one of the most important tools for personality assessment. Organizations across the globe rely on this methodology for human resource induction. Interview by the Deputy President is a semi-structured conversation. It will progress as an informal exchange of views that seeks to discover your beliefs, values, knowledge, ideas and habits. You will be asked to provide personal details sharing experiences in life, achievements and allude to specific areas of interest. There is no specific duration for interviews as it varies from candidate to candidate. Even so, the length of interview has no bearing on the result. In a nutshell, the interview will provide you ample opportunity to display your intellectual depth, knowledge base, emotional stability, social preferences and most importantly, the potential to become future military leader. Here are some tips that will provide you guidelines to effectively prepare for ISSB. A military leader is endowed with strong character, integrity, courage and knowledge. Therefore, at ISSB, our prime focus is to look for these virtues and recommend those who embody the spirit to hold the baton of future military leadership. One way to learn and transform would be to instill reading habits in your daily routine and improve your knowledge on a wide range of subjects. At times, few candidates try to portray an artificial persona that leaves negative impression on selectors. Therefore, the most important tip would be to remain as original as possible. Remain poised, confident and absolutely truthful during the interview. We know that getting nervous during any performance is natural. But the excellence is to manage the anxiety appropriately at the right time. Physical endurance and agility is also the hallmark of military leaders. Therefore, this aspect is given special emphasis in various tests at ISSB. You are therefore advised to improve your endurance during physical activities. Do not worry. If few of your answers are incorrect, we don't expect you to know everything but hope that you will come prepared to the best of your ability. Your written and verbal expression tells a lot about how you organize your thoughts and communicate with ease, clarity and confidence. So do practice public speaking in your own time. An audience such as your friends, siblings or parents will greatly help you. Most importantly, Beware of formal coaching on ISSB tests in private academies, which could compromise your originality and unbiased thought process. Be rest assured that the best preparation for ISSB would be depending on your own abilities, rather than depending on any formal coaching. However, we don't mind you seeking advice and guidance in an informal way. Routine at ISSB is challenging and quite exhausting. However, it doesn't mean that you should not enjoy your leisure time. Make memories with new friends having similar aspirations. Here, it is also important to mention that the profession of arms is a specific field that needs individual with required attributes. Hence, being not recommended by ISSB does not mean failure, but a mere outcome that you could be more suitable and successful in pursuing other professions. So if you don't make it, still, ISSB and Pakistan Army will remain indebted to you for displaying your love and affection for the profession of arms. Lastly, we want to advise you that tests conducted at ISSB and your own personal experiences there are a sacred trust. Make sure that you do not share any information of ISSB tests or about your own experiences on electronic media as it affects 
the confidentiality of ISSB's assessment system and may put at risk your own selection prospects. Do your best, believe in the system and do not pay attention to the rumors and false myths. Good luck and we look forward to welcoming you at the ISSB.